And you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. That's a nice promise. I want that. Do you? Favor and success in God's eyes and in man's eyes? Well, grab your Bible, turn to Proverbs chapter 3. That was verse 4. But here's what heads up to that. Here's what leads up to that. Verse 1. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days, years to your life, and peace will be added to you. Wow, this promise just keeps getting better. So what's necessary for this? What does it say? In verse 3, he writes, Steadfast, be steadfast in your love and faithfulness. Tie these around your neck. Write them on your heart. If there's anything that you're known for, your character description, uh, what do people see in you and remember about you? That you have unshakable love and that you're faithful. And one more thing. Look at verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Notice he doesn't say he'll give you a yellow brick road or pave the way with daisies, but the road will be straight. Look at God's way. Steadfast love, faithfulness, trust in him. Not in my own smarts or my own experience or my own understanding. These things are good. And they're God-given things. Understanding is necessary. But do I put my own understanding and my own experience in front of God's voice? Or can I follow Him first? Acknowledging Him in every bit of every day. So keep going. Verse 7. Not wise in your own eyes. Deliberately turning from doing wrong. And verse 9. Honor God with your money. Hmm. Funny that's here. Well, not really. There are incredible promises when we follow the way of Jesus. Loving, humble, faithful, trusting equals favor, success, life, and peace. That's a math equation I like. So go back and and read 5, 6, 7, 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. He will make your straight paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. And look at verse 8. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshing to your bones. That's what I want more than success and favor. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. This is faith. This is the life of faith. It says, I trust God with my life. This does not say don't do your work or don't do your responsible diligence. But sometimes... Maybe even often, God is asking us to do things that are not logical. Love your enemies. Bless those who persecute you. Or what about Peter getting out of the boat in Matthew 14? In what way might God be asking you to get out of the boat? Which will I listen to first? God's way or my own understanding? Maybe it's something small. Maybe it's big things. But instead of holding desperately onto the boat, save my life, the boat is all I have in this storm. How about holding tightly to steadfast love, faithfulness, and stepping into trusting your Savior? Sometimes it's an adventure into the unknown. There's risk involved. Can you trust him with your life? Step into it. There's risk involved. There's no promise it will go smoothly or rosy. But there is promise of God's presence and his provision.